Hi everybody. Today we're going to show you how to create a dynamic, easy to use syllabus using Google Docs. So I've already got a sample syllabus inserted into Google Docs. The first thing I'd like to do is just add some page numbers. So to do that, I'm going to go to the insert menu, choose page number, and then you can pick the location that you would prefer to see your page numbers. I'm going to select the first option, and as you can see, my numbers are now there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is create a table of contents within the document. To do that, we need to format our headings properly. So I'm going to go to my first heading here and change my heading to the Heading 1 format through this drop-down menu. For this subheading here, I'll change the format to Subheading 2. This is a subsection of the previous section, so I'm going to change it to 3. Now I've made the rest of the alterations throughout this document, but basically you just need to adjust your headings to reflect the various levels of organization you want within your syllabus. Once you're done with that, head to the Insert menu and choose Table of Contents. Now the Table of Contents will appear, and each of these is a live link. It will automatically take you to the corresponding heading in your syllabus. To share this with my class, I prepared by creating a group that includes everyone in my class. Now I click on the Share button and enter the name of my group. I'm also going to change their permissions so they can't edit the document, but only view it. That's it, and I can click Send. Now schedules are not set in stone, and sometimes a due date for a given assignment might change over the course of the year. So let's go somewhere where we have a due date and make a quick change. Say, for example, that I now want this paper due on September 12th. So I'm going to highlight the text, and then head to the Insert menu and choose Comment. Now I'm going to write in a new due date and click Comment. I can also send a notification to all my students to let them know this has changed by heading to the Share icon, entering the name of our group, and then adding a note, letting them know that the essay due date has changed. Now when I hit send, they'll receive the syllabus along with the note, letting them know of our change. Hopefully this has given you some help creating your next syllabus. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.